that process make sense? And but mama, I, again, I'm, I'm going to be my personality such that I come across, and I've been told directly by some of you guys also that you come across a bit too harsh, you come across a bit too arrogant. And another day, but it's right? I'll try my best to change, right? But I've been open with you, so you know, don't let that get in the way of you saying that I'm wrong. Or if you feel that mama, you know, they had it, I'm not going to hear, right? It's hard for me to change now. This Saturday, not here. I'm not going to cry about it, right? But I'm genuinely open. I'm okay for you guys to come and tell me if I'm wrong, right? So please tell me if you think it doesn't make sense. I'm going to get feedback because we can change it for the next program. Is that fair? Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah that's okay. Now, because some of the concerns are, hey, look at it. Is this okay? It's not the right thing for them. We should somehow. But you know, we honestly take what you're saying. This is not about anyone saying, as I said, you're good or bad or you're not that. Hey, luck of the draw. I'm still 13. I still haven't got all of my money again. I'm trying. The whole lifetime in front of you guys. Right? So that's where we are. Good. Two things that I want to get done today. Make sure that we first go through and have a game plan and we agree on how we're going to operate as a team. Right? Because all of us are also one team, right? We're the global startup labs, batch one. You guys are pioneering, you guys are going to set the stage. Not to put pressure, but either based on how we do collectively, this program will either continue or the whole thing will die. That's the reality. Right? So, in that sense, I, I try to think of it that we all have a responsibility for our fellow team members and those junior to you and all the others yet to come to make this a kick ass program. Right? So, we need to figure out how we operate and what's the best way, best way to do this. So, I want to just talk a bit about that. That's also going to be cautious about time, 146. You guys want to start at 2.30, yeah. right? so I have about 45 minutes. I want to also then take about 20 minutes and just share with you personally my life, my life story up to now. What to kind of be a soapbox, but hopefully through that talk to you a bit about personal leadership. Right? That's the agenda for today. Anything else you think we should do? After that 2.30 onwards, what we're going to do is for the 5 teams that have the idea out of this 10 that are now in phase 2, the five that pitched last are the ones that we all agree that have the idea most refined. They're ready, they have a story, right? Those five, and I think the Shafni, right? He's not there today, so we didn't have that team. But the other four teams, what we said was, hey, we'll have Digit who's coming in as our overall partner to help profile, do that. We just want to get some buzz going, right? What is the team objective? Who are these team members? Who are these cats? Where are they coming from? Are they interesting? So they will be the guinea pigs for that first, we will see how they do, and when you guys have got the idea right, you guys will come in and do it. Right? That's the value of this program. So that will happen to the rest of you, you guys are free to go. I can spend a bit of time with you if you want to catch up on something afterwards. Right? Agenda makes sense, anything else work out? Make sense? Good. First thing that I want to do, as we do these programs, right? <coughs> I need to have one point. I can't be calling everyone, right? Let me send emails. It's about honor, right? You guys need to pick up this real life. You're gonna get one shot. You can't come. You have to figure out how you work around that. We can't manage our mail. I need thousands, 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 and down. Can't do Right? We'll try our best to align that works out for the best, and that's why there's a team, right? So you guys need to discuss amongst yourselves. I need to have one person whose neck is on the line. You know what that means? What does the word neck on the line mean? Oh, anyone? What is it? Neck on the line. What's your name, sir? Hansa. Sorry? Hansa. Hansa. Neck on the line. What does that mean? <coughs> neck to squeeze. You mess up your neck is over. Right. Right? You're putting, you, you believe it so much that the train is going to stop, you're willing to put your neck on the rail wheel. Cut that down. Right? One guy. That's just reality of how things work. Very rarely do kind of two people, you know, anything beyond two, I think, is just being safe. Two, okay, there are potential co founders and whatnot. In a given time, one person is going to take the child and say, Makan, but this next year, I'm going to take the lead. You follow that, right? Really, number one, you guys have to have that identified amongst yourselves. That is the person that I want to be identified to, right? So, I'm not going to take time on that right now. Maybe what we'll do is after we finish the session, I'll quickly check with each team separately because I don't want you guys to kind of feel the monks if you don't know whatever. I can help you think through some of that. Right? So if you guys can spend time, those of you who are not doing the video recording, if you 
we can spend some time, I can spend a bit more time one on one with you to help think about how to decide what problem. But we need to get that done. Operating framework after that is those people will be the key people that I talk. There will be certain things that we send out to the whole population. Right? Now you can share whatever I said. Assume something, right? Something like assume that I take you to be the leader of your team. You can share whatever I send with her, but you know, there'll be certain things that we say as education of everyone that gets to the whole menu. But if it's about, hey, here's what I need, we need to meet on Saturday 8 to do project management training, please work it out. Up to you. You need to talk with her and then if she can't make it between the two of you figure out who does it, or if you say, hey, I can't just make it, I'm gonna to talk to one of the other guys and make sure they help me learn that. All up to you. That's what that role means to me. Now, what, it, what the leader role means to your company is obviously very, you know that. But in terms of the operating framework for the program, that's how I'm going to use that role. Fair? I, and I, I can change, but this is just suggestions, right? If you guys say, no, peace to the mayor, no, no, I'm fine. As long as all of us as a team here, because we're all in this together. Either we all sink or we all swim. Right? Up to now, okay? Any other ideas, suggestions of how to do it? Next thing is, um, so on that place, I'm going to what are the things that we need to get done? I think one of the first things that we felt was to give you guys a session on project management. Now it seems pretty basic, right? Project management seems pretty simple, all of us know, and please come see me, right? And I'm going to also see the front. Next time again, I'm going to end up, we'll get to this later. But um, the first session we want to kind of set up is with uh, Dr. Malu, where she'll come in and just talk about, hey, some of you guys might know this, you might not, but we'll get a session of how to do project plans, what are the critical parts, how to set up things, a very obvious outcome, or not obvious, but a very important outcome that is going to be, what is your timeline from now till June, right? Now, plans are there to be changed, but at least you have to have a starting point of view. And that will then help the program, all of us, be able to get a collective view and we'll work with Gyan, some great ideas that he also has, to kind of give an online dashboard, right? After we are tech startups, we need to be able to start being a lot more technology savvy ourselves, have some kind of view of, okay, here are the 10 teams, here's where each person is. It'll help the program also be able to know what you need at different times. Some of you guys will decide that, hey, I'm going to IDA or I'm going to further do my product development for Two months. Others will say, no, I'm going to get it done in the first two weeks. It's about getting to the market fast. Whatever. You guys decide. You're the owners. Just having that kind of view. So that's kind of what we're expecting to hopefully get done and learn from uh, Dr. Madhu. What are some techniques, how to do it, da, da, da. Does that make sense as the first session for you guys? Or should, do you think there should be anything else? I'll give you the other menu and item, right? We can bring in people from the <coughs> We want to bring people from the finance area. Um, he ran from uh, York Street Partners. And if you, have you heard about York Street Partners? They've been new to the team, fantastic team, and about five guys, all Goldman Sachs, <coughs> high end bankers, right? They came and set up a shop here um, to really help companies go public, how to raise funds, right? So he'll, he said, hey, I'm here to come and help these guys think about equity structures, financing, how do you get to the point of raising funds, right? So we can get him also in at some point. Um, what are the other key things? Marketing and community, Jasas from Strategy, who's also the <coughs> Vice President for NDB. He's going to come in, and some of you might be his, calling his lecture or whatever it is, but, uh, but anyway, he said he'll come in and do a session about positioning, marketing, communication, that whole part. Right? So, those are some of the options that we have available. We felt collectively that the project management one made more sense because that gave us that thing. Any vehement disagreement or someone feels, no, 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 we want something else. Yeah? So, date for that. Next Saturday is what we are planning for right now. And I need to get a few dates because it might be that, you know, really at this point in time, again, no one is getting paid for this, right? So, these are all individuals doing it out of their own, wanting to be part of this whole ecosystem, help you guys. And let's be honest, you also gain, right? Personally, I don't want to come across as, oh, he's a saint. He's... I'm also gaining and I'm learning. Every time I come and talk to you guys, I learn something amazing. And I, I, I enjoy what I'm doing. Right? So it's not about you trying to have to thank me all the time. But that being said, we have to balance out our lives that give us money to be able to feed our children and have fun with our wife and all that stuff. Right? So that's the reality. Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. One of those three days. Next weekend is when we want to plan. 
can you guys then work out amongst yourselves? Right? Again, I realize that maybe your whole team cannot participate. Right? But what I'm asking you guys is then figure out amongst yourselves. You'll have to probably reschedule, readjust your personal plans amongst the three, four, five of you, so that at least one of you can come. If by chance Hathra then Adam bad, no matter I don't know, say all who are in the same family or related, then someone passes away or something, whatever, right? There are all kinds of things that happen, right? Then my and again I'm asking, my view is that for the betterment of the program, we still go ahead, right? You guys now start, and I think all of you are any friends already, you know, you guys now figure out how to learn from some other guy, these are guys lectures about this is for the and stuff. You can always go come ask Dr. Madhu again, if you build a good relationship, you can ask me. That's how we're going to operate. Make sense? So, anything else from you guys? I'm going to stop and get feedback from you. Yes. And maybe those videos will be up in a YouTube channel. Fantastic, great idea. I didn't think about that. So there you go. Right? So what we'll also do is, thanks to these guys, we have partners, we'll have some of those sessions recorded. Then, you know, at least you have it as e-learning platforms or whatever you want to call it, just to be able to reference the model. Great. Good idea. Anything else? What I said, uh, one of those who came a bit late is that <coughs> you need to go through this. I absolutely need a team leader, right? I won't take time going through each of these like, names of the top 10 that I know. I clearly have made a mistake where I said it all out to someone who was not in these teams. <coughs> so you guys know who the top teams are, right? And again, when I say top teams, that itself is a wrong thing, right? Because it seems like there is a bottom team. Top two, there has to be a bottom also, right? It is really about which idea, which team, for whatever reason, right, luck or capability or whatever, has been able to evolve the idea to the most refined moment at this point in time to make the most of the program. That's what this is about. Right? So the 10 that have done that is this. The A team, Abstract I, Bigya, am I pronouncing it? Bigya. That's Nepali, that's in your language, right? Right. Uh, Biz chap, I cannot pronounce, what is this word? Tell you? What does that mean anything? What does it mean? Sky. Huh? Sky. Sky. In, in what language? Huh? In Latin. Right. Clearly I'm not a very learned person. <laughs> Lower Epsom, shopping, travel or back, and white charge. Right? Is there anyone else who's not in those teams? There's, there's no one there. But anyone else that is not in one of these ten teams? In the room right now? No. Good. Um, da, da, da. It could also be that maybe when they change your ah, that's another one important thing. Okay, I want to go 30 minutes just to kind of then talk more leadership. But this is where I think, as I said, this phase one had two important outcomes idea and team. I think we've done really well on the idea. Right? We got to the point, at least there's a lot of feedback. We have about 45, 45 50 industry people at some point have heard your idea and given you feedback. Fair to say, you guys feel pretty confident in that? Probably. Probably even too many people have seen your idea and now given you enough of information. All of us agree? Right? Come in, I am not in the feedback here. Right, fine. Take a happy that. Team. Right? And I've been the stickler for this from day one. Right? Every time I saw a team of five people or more than three, I've been, what the hell is wrong with you? I got cut under AF 80,000 and opportunity cost. You better go and tell five times now. And if you come here, Tom, he can't have a mother, he can't have a mother, he haven't necessarily acted on it. Right? And I can understand what I'm saying, but that is why, because I don't want to come and be empathetic about it. I don't want to come and be empathetic about it. I don't want to come and be empathetic about it. Right? So I am going to continue to be the more realistic, investor kind of guy who is saying, I'm always thinking, right, when I'm talking to any of you guys, because it's about successful companies. Will I be willing to put my money? That's going to be a key question that I am going to come. So every time I say something, I want you guys to look at it, that understand my point of view. I'm coming from a view of, and it's not that I'm the only guy, but I, I've learned a bit in the last few years by looking at how other people invest, what are the questions they ask, and one predominant thing is, is this a value team, right? Is there clarity amongst the team members as to who's doing what? Do all of them make sense? Can I see why, these, if it's five people, there has to be perfect reason as to why all five are there. Now, you could have even 20 in your team overall, right? But that also has to make sense in terms of if it's a cost base. You could have a whole bunch of supporters, cheerleaders, Pachang, let's go, eat, one day, one day, all those people, right? But if 
you're asking for cash, if you're looking for funding at some point, it doesn't mean that you have to. I'm hoping there's some companies like Harshad Pursing, which are fantastic, who bootstrap it on their own. Hey, you, know, you can say, well, if you go to hell, I'll do what I want to do. That's still okay. But realism will also be that there is only finite amount of resources no one to be allocated. Conscious, con you know, there's gonna, as long as you have conscious contention. Have you heard of that word? You know what contention means? To contend with each other. Contention. Have you heard of that word? But I'm going to tell you, right? Mama, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, right? If you do not raise your hand and ask, I look like an Indian. Right? There is no brownie points for looking. Oh, I don't know. 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 I'm wasting my energy, my time. The words that I use are just based on the circle that I've done. And my, it's my fault. My fault, not yours. Right? I want you to remember that. that if I say something you don't understand, it's not because you're not good enough. It's because I am unfortunately not good enough to be able to bring myself to the level that's appropriate to you guys. Right? And it's, so I hopefully accept my faults. And it's going to, but both of us to get the most. Raise your hand. Say, sorry, I just didn't get that. What does that really mean? I think it might mean this. Is that what it is? That's why we're wasting our time, right? Contention means gastanel. Disagreement. Difference of opinions. Now, generally, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Sorry, custody. Custody ke na vache ne, ahu ama ho bolita ne ko khudo dayan thara kare. Friends always a good answer. Learning na kama, never kare. Right? And there are a lot of instances when contention or this custody or difference of opinions are really really important, especially in this situation that you are. Right? So, the term that I use for conscious contention. You know what conscious means? Itala. Ona kami. Right? You're asking for that contention. You're saying, hey, Nika Bhattava, I want you to give me a different opinion. What is the devil's advocating? Nika Tawa Chana. Devil's advocating is how they know. Bhalla, ya, ona kami, make a very big deal. Right? There's all kinds of six to five, right? However, at this point in time, what's really damaging is if you have unconscious contention. Because of the team dynamics. Right now, because there's no money, no one cares. But hopefully, they're creating high money ideas. Then the Apu Amma, if there isn't a clear way for all of you all to distinguish and to distinguish, to be able to see very clearly in an objective way. This is why I am going to get 40% of the count. This is why I am going to draw a higher salary than you. Here is why we cannot afford you to be on the payroll, but we would like to have you come in as a silent partner at a 5% stake. What and all that kind of stuff. Right? I'm telling you, I've been through all of this. Absolutely important to have an opinion. Now, you don't have to have it all nailed down. But I'm telling you, I'm okay, I'm very enough. You're all still testing each other out. Some of you are friends from earlier. That itself will be interesting. Some of you are dating each other. That will be another interesting idea. Right? <laughs> It's all okay, right? But you have to work these out. All I'm saying is that a plan, right? So, A, I think when we face one, the team maker, is it perfect, is it all set? I don't think so. We all agree? How many of you feel that we are done? We are solid. We are done. 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 Anyone has that between two of you? Is that clear? Clear? Let's just take this an example. Is it you or her that's going to consider? Sorry, you. Who of you is going to lead? Clearly, no. Right? Take a minute. The answer that you get is if there was strategies. Yes, definitely me. We've had this chat. Here's how it's going to happen. It could be that you guys have come to agreement saying that it's going to be 50-50. I would really think you should consider that twice because. Again, then suddenly that thing is not going there. When the first $10 million come, you are not going to be very happy if you have had to work for $8 million of those dollars, but you get only 5 Makes common sense, right? So think of that. A lot of it is what you believe you are, you are. Great? So that being said, we need to work through that. So I'm going to need you guys, and I don't want to keep coming after you guys saying, you can't be happy, I think I'm going to be a teammate. Fair enough. I'm going to thank you. Be mature, 
figure that out, right? I'm going to now say it and leave it to you guys, but I would like to see you guys come in and talking about that, bringing that up. If not with me, whoever you feel most comfortable with, right? There's a whole bunch of mentors out there, you would have connected with different people. If you need my help, come and tell me, I can give other people as to examples of how they've done that, right? But you have to sort that out because we are assuming that is sorted in this space, although we all now agree it's not completely sorted. Make sense? Good. We got 25 minutes. In which time I wanted to. Shall I do what? I like more do this. Ramin, can I ask you a favor? Can you go to this one? Read the list. Right? Make sure that this is all correct. Quickly run through. We got name obviously has to be right. We have to write email address, contact number. Email. If you know if there is clarity in this that the leader, then give that. Right? Team status is the kill the team, you know, good team, average, da, 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 no idea. So this is how we think of it, right? So whatever, right? We don't have an opinion of the right now. Product, industry, meta medical, mental. Right? Can you quickly run through each person and get their data? So obviously for a team and a kind of DNA. Right. Okay, I'll go and switch off the thing and um, it, it's part of it is my journey, but I truly believe in this, and I think as you guys embarking on on something that's amazing, right? Um, it's important to really be grounded. I think it's important to have some of this clarity, and, and the reason I'm sharing this is because I'm 38 now. It's probably only in the last three years, very honestly, that this kind of started evolving to me. Uh, and I, I consider myself extremely lucky, right? But had I known some of this stuff when I was 20, holy. I would have been in different ways. Okay. So I'm hoping that at least by sharing with some of you guys, because most of you are in your twenties. Anyone over thirty here? <laughs> yeah. Great. Everyone's got anyone under twenty? Really? Yeah. Son of a gun. <laughs> well, there you go. He's gonna be on a different right? <laughs> But you know, anyway, have you heard of this? That thirties are the you know what used to be forties is now the current thirties. Okay. In a sense whole generation shifts have happened, right? And you can see them, you guys don't have kids, but I can look at my 10 year old, and you know, he's operating like he's in his 20s. He's thinking, he's questioning, he's following, so that all happens, right? But it's important, I think some of us are caught in this vortex. I think my children, our generation, they'll be fine, right? There's enough internet, everything's taken up. I still think internet is cool. You guys also don't think it's cool, but you're still this location based stuff of your and you have to know. Right? So the point that I'm trying to make though is that for you guys, you have to recognize that your 20s are going to be expecting you to perform at what it was for us when we were in our 30s. The life is going to be like that, right? The world is unfair. So for those of you who catch on to that, and I think get that maturity and that clarity early on, you'll be fine. You'll actually be able to differentiate yourself amazingly well. So it's on that context and background that I'm sharing this. Um, again, very personal. It's my own story. Uh, it's an evolving journey of achieving, right? Uh, you know, and achieving you'll see is what I define it to be. Quick question, what do you see here? What do you see? Who sees the frog? Anyone see the frog? Right. Anyone sees anything other than a frog? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five. What do you see? You see a horse. Others can see a horse now? Look for the horse. Anyone who didn't see a horse who can see a horse now, raise your hand. No? Not yet? Now can you see a horse? Right? So it's a simple thing, just to get your brain thinking, right? And, and if anything else of that exercise, just to say, hey, what you see is not everything. There's a lot more to it than what you see at face value. So very important. That's one of the first lessons that we need to realize is there is a grey. I think we like to think it's black and white, but there's multiple ways of looking at something. What you think is, oh my god, there's absolute truth, there's the only way to do it. There's one thing that I'm going to tell you in life, it's going to come back to you, well, mm. you know what, so don't hang your hat, another term to learn. You know what the term hang your hat? Don't be a landowner, right? Don't try and commit yourself too early on something because 
There are multiple ways of looking at it. What you don't see at face value could be hidden in what you see. So, <coughs> quick story. Who am I? I'm an amazingly proud father of three children. <coughs> As you can see, potentially my youngest guy here, he made sure that uh, we had a family of having five children, but after Tarishta came, they pretty much said, well, you know what, he can marry her with his burger. So there was the plan for the other two kind of went off. No, he's an amazing kid. He's amazingly uh, brilliant. Um, very blessed. I, I you know, found my soulmate and my best friend. We actually get married to her and he's a Montessori teacher. We've been married for 13 years. Um, I was born to two amazing people. My <coughs> father, unfortunately, I lost when I was 18 years old. Um, he was an interesting character, very dominant. Uh, my whole disgust thing comes from him. Right? He was a person who was very intolerant. Uh, but I think a lot of my fearlessness and my tenacity, I really get from my father. Uh, my mother was, uh, is an amazing person. She's still there. I'm, I'm trying to be half the person she is. She still gets up every day at 4.30 in the morning, writes a list of things I need to get done, doesn't go to sleep before she checks off and has a plan for the next day. She's 66 years old and she still does. And she'll probably do it for the next 20 years. Right? Um, I, I, I learned an amazing amount of things from her, but I think um, what I really holds true is my self-confidence. Right? It, still, it still rings bells in me. Every night, she'll come back and, and she'll tuck me in and say, hey, right? um, and, and it's amazing. It's amazing the power that that does to you guys. Right? And there's one thing I'm asking you is, when you have your first children, spend that time. What you tell them, it happens. Right? And that's one thing I think that has helped me because I have an extremely high self-esteem, as you can say. I'm very confident about myself and a lot of that comes from my mother. Um, two things that they gave me that was amazing, I think my sister, who's nine years younger to me, um, great friend, a lot of times she's a mentor to me that I'm more to her. Um, she's been really well, she just had a young baby, so I'm a proud uncle as well. Um, and also, I think they, did, they gave me a great gift. I was born in Canada, but when I was five years old, they decided that they wanted to move back to Sri Lanka. Despite at the time it being that everyone was trying to get out of the country and go, they said no. He needs to grow up understanding his roots and his fundamentals and be grounded to what he really is from. And I think that's the best thing that my parents actually did for me because, you know, I'm in a very unique position where I'm a dual citizen, I can travel anytime I want, but I think when you when you have the potential, you start looking at what you have and you appreciate that more. And there have been instances. I went and studied in Canada. I did electrical engineering. I spent six years of my life in Canada. But I knew every time that I was just not being who I am. My purpose was not clear. Right? Uh, and I'm, I'm so thankful for my parents for having made that decision because that really got me back to Sri Lanka. Um, my, my, most of my career was spent with Pratusa. I spent 10 years. Very lucky got in at the time when the company was about 150 people. They had just moved from Chris's mother's uh, home and the backyard kind of thing. Uh, it was kind of a, they were doing quite well. They were, you know, established. They were all the technology providers at the time. They were just just shifting to uh, Lakeside, on the Lakeside business premises. Um, right time, right place. Um, I I got in to do something very different. My background is electrical engineering and doing networking. Don't ask me questions. I don't remember any other stuff. But that's when I graduated in. Um, and, and they thought they were going to go into that line. Within three months of joining them, they completely changed course and said, no, we don't want to start the division. So here's me who had left KBSL. I'd done like a one year stint. Left that job, joined a company, and they said, no, we're not going to do that anymore. So I had to find myself. Right? Thankfully, I had an amazing mentor, Keith Moder. Um, he's an amazing individual, just always saw the potential in someone, saw what a person can be as opposed to what they are. And um, long story short, you know, I had an amazing run. Um, I ended up being the youngest vice president that they had, uh, and I left in 2010. But it's an interesting story, I think, is because, you know, they say that you spend, most people spend their first 50 years, typically, and I think that's getting younger and younger now, as it was with me, because we're thrown at opportunities far earlier in life. You guys, will, this will happen to you even further. And that's why I'm sharing this story with you, right? In many ways, I don't think I was equipped, despite all that I had, right? As I said, I'm amazingly blessed. My mother and father had given me all of that, but I wasn't equipped to actually handle success very well. Everything seemed to be going what I thought was going the right way. But it just hit me like a ton of bricks, and I just couldn't find purpose or meaning in what I was doing. Because after having been made that, and it was six months, literally six months after being made BP, I was like, dissolution. I was like, what am I doing here? I, I couldn't find purpose. I couldn't wake up in the morning and it didn't make sense to me. Right? 
Um, and it's a scary place to be, guys. I tell you, when you think you're on top of the mountain, right, and you feel that you're amazing and you've done all this stuff, and especially in the context of Go to Serve, is that you're focused on doing stuff outside of Sri Lanka. So no one in the industry knows you. Right? So, and there's two opinions of you. If you leave Virtu Sir, at that time at least, it's changing. The only one or two things. At that level when you leave, either you really screwed up and you got kicked out. So no one wants to touch you. Or they think, oh my god, this guy is so expensive. We can't afford it. Neither of which is true. Right? <laughs> because Virtu Sir does a damn good job of showing that you're getting paid more than you are paid. <coughs> right? And they think we, we all live that. I live the larger than life impression. But you come out and then, so I made a very bold decision and it was a scary decision. I said, I had clarity about what I didn't want, which was to continue. And no reflection about it, so it was just, I had lost sync with where the company was going. My personal journey had ended there. And I had clarity about that. I didn't know what my purpose was. So I had two choices. I could either just continue to force myself to be there and pretend because the salary was good, I was offered to go to Singapore or the US or whatever because you know, if you have a good guy and they thought that I was a good guy at the time, they said, hey, we'll do whatever you want, but I just, it didn't board well. I couldn't wake up in the morning and feel really proud about this. So I said, great, thank you very much for an amazing 10 years, and I left. I had no salary, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, and it cut down, right? I started traveling by bus, so that's the only instance that I have about your bus sympathy thing. I've traveled to Naramala four times by bus, I have a small estate there. Because I wanted to plan for not having a salary for the next year. I said, my mind was fine. I didn't have perspective. Um, anyway, so long story short, to the point, met up with Taj, I, I created my own thing, I bootstrapped and I said, great, you know what? CX on rent. And I went and spoke to different companies. My whole objective was saying, you know, I'll take your service, I don't want a, I don't want a job. I will add value, and based on the value, you pay me on the improvement that I made. Right? So it was my startup, my journey of a startup at that time. Um, came in the same pitch to Stacks at the time. I uh, hadn't heard about Stacks until that time. I think TD was managing the company at the time, it was my in Canada. So I thought, okay, maybe I can offer my services. Long story short, came in and it made sense at that point in time for them to say, hey, listen, why don't you come full time? So technically, I have full time. Um, you know, Arj now started his own company. So just as of January, I'm actually the managing director of Stacks. <coughs> that being said, guys, I view myself as an owner. Right? Because I have a value tag of how much I think I can deliver. And you know, stacks given the varieties of what it's doing will give me X of that. Right? So all of a sudden everything else is up to me to manage my intensity of effort and what I do to be able to create that. So in that sense, although I'm quote unquote full time employed, I definitely consider myself an entrepreneur. Right? Now, where am I going with all of this stuff, right? Is and sorry, just to come back in the last three years. It's been an amazing journey because I made I made sure I didn't make the same mistake. I, I got involved extensive. Slascom to American Chamber of Commerce to the Lankan Angel Network. And, and I loved it. I thrived in it, right? And, and that really started giving me purpose. But that got me thinking, right? As leaders, <coughs> what comes to your mind when you see Have you have any of you flown? Have you flown? Yeah. If you, if you fly, you'll find that they give you this whole thing about in a case of emergency, right? If the plane happens to go down, they give you very specific instructions. They say that oxygen mask will come down. Step one, grab it, pull the thing. Step two, put on oxygen mask on yourself before <coughs> you try to help your own child, right? And I, I think this, the reason I bring this up is that we sometimes lose sight, especially those who are doing very well. And, 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 you, and I'm saying this early because I know you guys are not there yet, but so you remember this. You don't have to go through the agony that I did because I was blinded to this, right? You end up not taking care of yourself but everything else. And it's so important this area, right? Not only in bad times, not only in crisis. Because in crisis, there's no choice. In. I also started taking care of myself a lot when I went through that. And it really was almost clinical depression, to be honest with you, right? It went through a very tough period. Um, I started losing weight, I started running in the morning, I started swimming. Um, and, and you know, you do that when it's forced upon you, but the idea is to do that in the best of times. That's when you can really accelerate. And, and that's why bringing this out to you is to say, you guys are in your best time in your life right now. It's amazing to be in your 20s. You're just kicking off. If you can add on to this height that you're in right now, this element of taking care of yourself as an individual, as a leader. 
right? I can guarantee you, you will double or triple your success. Right? Which brings up to a good point. <coughs> what is success? <coughs> so, there you go, what is success? Sorry? Achieve what you dream. Anyone else? Praveen, what's success? Making your dreams come true. Making your dreams come true. What's success? <coughs> Any other definitions? Any other points of view? Guru, what do you think? If you believe that you can do something, If you believe it, you can do it. So good news is that it is your choice. It's very much what you guys are saying. Right, and I think I skipped to a few slides earlier. <coughs> but here, here's the problem, right? <coughs> and, and I think you guys are still at a very early stage where you're very uh, coming out. You haven't been painted, which is good, and that's why it's so important to carry this message. There are billions and billions of dollars, and some of you guys are actually trying to get onto this whole <coughs> platform as well, of trying to influence other people as to what success should be. So whether it be loyalty programs, whether it be about lifestyle definitions, right? And it, it ranges all the way from being extremely materialistic, right? Saying it's about the car, the money, the girl, the jewelry. Those are very materialistic, right? Sandi, Murak, and Eva. Success is something like that. Latest BMW, large house, da 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 da. Those are imposed on us by the marketing guys to make money, right? Or the green piece of the world. Save the world, the wheels are dying, the planet's going to burn up, you should lose all your money and start going. It, it's a whole range of those things, right? And I'm not here to say which is right or wrong, but as I said earlier, it's a very personal choice, right? And the fact is that it's a choice. But here's the problem. And you guys said achieving your dreams, doing what you believe you can do. But that begs another quick question. What is your dream? Because you can't achieve it until you know it, right? You agree? So if I ask, how, what's the clarity of your dream right how, how can you answer that question? Any, any thoughts on how you can answer that question? What's the best way to be able to frame what is success for me or what is my dream? Feeling content. Feeling content. What makes you content? Iraj, what do you think? What's your dream, man? Tell me the plan. I want to start traveling when I start, when I'm 40s. Okay. So that's my dream. So Travel my 40s? Yeah. That's his dream. Okay. So when I'm 40s, I need to have more than enough cash to travel and uh, Got for my family. That's all. Cash to travel and sustain a family. That's success and that's his dream. Anything else? Any other views? And it's kind of personal, but hey, it's a close team. We're going to get to know each other a bit more, right? What's your dream? Get married in the next year? Mr. <laughs> Bhagavad <laughs> 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 the test first. <laughs> What's the story? What's your dream? To have a stable lifestyle with all the luxuries. Stable lifestyle with all the luxuries. Right? Yeah. Good. Hey, hey, hey. There's no right or wrong, as I said. I'm just going to offer up an opinion, right? And it is very important that you, again, the trick is to do this in your 20s, not when you're in your 40s like I am, right? <laughs> so, to me, life is very simple, right? And the simplicity has actually come only as I age. If you, you are either the script writer of your life, or you're the actor of someone else's, it really is as simple as that. Right? But you've got to make that choice. If you don't make that choice, which is about the majority, and that's why the world, the whole world's wealth is handled by about one to two percent of the people. And if you really understand what have they done, is that they made that choice to be the script writer. Do you know what script writer is? Katandre Lee Nekya. Right? Mumbiyakita, Mumbiyaka Hadha Nekya. Right? For your own life. Right? Another way of saying that I've heard someone else say this, which is fantastic. All of us were born with a user manual. It's in us. You just gotta look for it. Right? But we, we subject ourselves to so many other imported user manuals. Here's what life should be, here's what we should be doing, 
here's what is good for you, here's what it is, and parents included, right? Very, I, 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 every day, I mean, I come and preach this to you guys, but if I can't do that to my children, and, I, and I'm a, I'm guilty, right? I go and I sometimes subject my children to my fears, whether it be about studying for an exam, because I think, I believe that the only way to succeed is, you're going to do math, science, and English, that's my opinion. Now, is that right opinion? No. That, those are my fears. Who knows, man? Maybe those are not the three things you need to know. Maybe you just need to know about cricket like he thinks. In his mind, it's all about winning cricket stats. It's about watching the test matches. And, you know, you've got to find the right balance with your parent. Thankfully, you guys don't have to worry about this. But my point is that even parents, unintentionally, with the best of interests, will impose on us certain things that are not really meant to be who we are. Right? And, and you've got to be able to uncover that. So, you know, I, I think the thing that has helped me to think about this is there's only one certainty in life, right? So, you give me a quick time check, but I have one second. 2 30, I'm already 5 minutes old. You might give me another 10 minutes? Yeah, okay. Um, there's only one certainty in life up to now, and that also, you know, might be time bound because I hear that Google is now trying to solve death. You heard that? Google is now trying to solve this whole life extension. They want to be able to figure out how can you extend uh, life years. Life expectancy rate, they want to increase. Right? So until those guys come and crack that, one thing that's guaranteed for all of us is that you will die. The way you know it. Okay? Then what are you left with? <coughs> when you die? The travels, the money, the feeling comfortable, feeling protected. Your husband, your wife, and all that stuff. Do you have those? What do you have? Do you have a memory if you're lucky. Right? And that's also kind of an egoistic thing, but ultimately what you'll have hopefully is a legacy. And we know that. We talk about these people. Right? There are certain people's books that we write, read, their bio, their biographies. And that's really all that you can ask for in right? It's the one certain all the other things are very temporary, and it's, it's a way to get there. So, how do you do that? Great. It's about legacy. What's the formula? Right, so we had the, what is success? Why is it important to make the choice? Third and last one is about how to do it. Right? Actually, this came from, uh, have you heard of Robin Sharma? There's a guy called Robin Sharma. Fantastic. You know, and again, you know, I'm sometimes skeptical because this is the best way, right? and maybe that's my path as well to make a lot of money. Once I now do a bit more of this reflection, I also can become the next client and put a book out, do some videos, and the bug is making millions now, right? He's a multi billionaire. He never talks about that, he just talks about making other people feel good about life. But, you know, that aside, right? So I'm not trying to promote him, but I'm saying, if you speak to these people, there are certain clarity and truths that start emerging. And you've got to pick what's right for you. And this is just, to me, I've tested this with a whole bunch of stuff, and it's worked amazing. Right? Focus, measured improvement, and time. It's just those three things. It's very simple. Right? I'll give you an example quickly. Um, 50 lengths in 30 minutes. That's what it was, three years ago. Right? When it hit upon me, I said, I want to be able to swim 50 lengths in 30 minutes. Now, even if I achieve that, that's actually still twice, almost just about twice as more than the world record for swimming a, men, swimming a length. You can swim a length in about 14 or some seconds is the world record right now. If you go with my math, you end up having to swim, you know, swimming one length in 30 seconds, which is still really bad compared to the world record. But from where I was, where it was, I could barely swim two lengths and then I was panting for five minutes, it seemed, oh my God, how the hell we do that? Right? But that's what it was. Right? And that has done wonders. And today, guys, I do that. Well, no, sorry, I don't. I do 50 in 35. I'm still not there. I can do 50 lengths, but it takes me 35 minutes. So I got 5 minutes more to shave off. Right? But it's very simple. Right? It was focus. I said, I need to end the focus. What do you need? You need a measurable goal. 30, 30, 50 lengths in 30 seconds. Right? And then you just got to do time. It's taken me three years and I'm still not there. But guess what? Definitely far from having been able to do only two lengths and then pan for five minutes. Right? 
and, and you know, it kind of looked a bit better, but if you saw it years ago, you'd imagine who the king and the queen, who thought the mother will, you know, drop into the water. <laughs> that, I'm telling you. And it can be done, right? And I'm taking kind of very generic examples, but I'm, you know, you can extend this to whatever. So, very quickly, this is, again, it's adapted from this guy's teaching. I hear it in a different way. I'm kind of my own little juggler with it. Out of the three things, right? Focus, measurable improvements, and you just got to give it time. You got to persist, right? So, what to focus on? To me, I looked at it, and it ties into what I define in success is my legacy, right? And, and to me, that's about impact and influence. It's about no matter what I choose to do, I want to be influential and I want to leave an impact. So, all the other seven things to me are enabling me on that journey. That's why I thought of it as a compass, right? In, and some of them are very obvious, right? If you think about it, Korean financial freedom, we know that. You don't tell us that. That's why you guys are after a degree. That's why you went to Kalampo or whatever. Bachang, you got a degree, you got to say IFS, whatever, you got a career set. That's why you chose IT most of the time, right? Financial freedom, again, you're going to work, you're going to do it. Part of the reason why most of you joined to be an entrepreneur also is saying, hey, I want to be having my financial freedom, right? The other things which tend to get neglected, but you guys are not at that point, you will once you once real life kicks in is adventure and fun, health, and family. You guys don't have family yet, so you don't worry about it, but you do. Your, your, your brothers and sisters, your wife, sorry, your, your parents, your girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever, right? I'm telling you, this is forecasted for you. As you start hitting your mid twenties to your thirties, in the Mayana Dame Atari. Right? It's say Kage Khana. You don't take, you think, oh, I'm so busy that I can't take half an hour a day. As soon as that, as soon as the first thought comes, you should look at yourself and say, are you stupid or what? Right? And, and I'm telling you this, right? For me to come and try and lead you guys, I still feel ashamed because I haven't necessarily controlled. I'm supposed to be, I don't know how I'm supposed to be, 75 kilos. But I was 100 kilos earlier, right? Supposedly, I'm supposed to be 75 kilos. Everything I gave to 70, but I want to be 80 kilos. And I've told myself, I don't earn the right to expect anyone to lead me until I can do at least that simple thing. Because if you can't lead yourself in your health that way, right? And I have high cholesterol. And if I have, if you can't manage something that's completely in your control, I'm trying to influence and control things that are far beyond. Make a pull on your Right? And you've got to do some exercise. It's got to be the simplest thing, but if you can't do that for yourself, how the hell should I expect someone to believe and think of and even what I'm doing with you guys right now? So, I, you know, it's, that's why it's a journey of evolving success, right? Anyway, those are the two things, but I think the one that quite often get neglected or you, a lot of people don't even think about, right? Is to do with your inner life and who you surround yourself with, right? So what is inner life? Anyone can define inner life? What does that mean? Hmm? It's kind of what I said earlier. Okay? You all have a user manual. It's here. Okay. It's about talking to yourself. How many of you talk to yourself? You do. Do you do it consciously? Do you give yourself time? Do you have a set period, at least at a minimum? Do you say half an hour a day, I am going to talk to myself? And if you're doing that, and I, some people do that, don't let go of that. Absolutely important. I know my five year old does it. He does it all the time. And guess what? We as adults and parents, we beat the crap out of them of that. Okay? You should do what that is. Don't know, no. You're doing that, right? We were born with that ability, that unbelievable ability to connect with who we really are. And when we are small, we even expose that to others. But then surroundings and all the cynicism and all the other unfortunate people around us try to hammer that out. I've done that to my children itself, right? And I'm regretting that. I'm trying to correct it a bit. But you guys are also young, so hopefully you still held on to some of that stuff, right? I'm merging you. Don't let go of that. It's a very simple thing. Talk to yourself. Be very comfortable about yourself. Simple things. You're, you're stuck in traffic. You know, nothing's going to change. Right? You can't do anything. Don't get agitated. 
not much easier. I'm preaching, but I don't practice it all the time. But that's why I keep saying it is because then I feel like an idiot, right? Mamma Tray won't give what I must say. If I'm talking, I'm going to feel like an idiot. Sorry, but I'm already 15 minutes. I'm already 15 minutes. Thanks. We need to start to wrap things up for the final. Sure, two minutes. There's only 14. Um, so, hold on to that, right? Last one. Who you surround yourself with, right? Absolutely important, guys, right? And now, this by no means am I trying to say drop your, you know, high school friends or drop your friend from the road or whoever just because they don't speak the same language or if they haven't grown things very good. It's not about that, right? But it comes back to you've got to help yourself first before you can help others. And always take stock of who are the people that are, you are spending most of all your time with. It's said that your impact and your influence and your net worth are the median of the 10 people you spend most of your time with. I'm going to say that again, right? Your impact, influence and your net worth, the money you make, is supposed to be the median of the 10 people that you spend most of your time with. It's a whole new perspective as to who you spend your time with, right? Now, as I said, it doesn't mean that these are about who you associate or whatever. Right? You can have friends, you can go drink, it works up. But are you leveraging some of the other things? Right? What do you listen to on the radio? Half the stuff that they say is crap. There's no meaning. They are trying to impose and tell you what success is and find something or doing something else. Great opportunities, right? You guys all have that. And I hope you're doing it. biographies to podcasts to. Will it be just Beto? Will it be about jazz? Whatever. What do you surround yourself with? Right? Those are all elements, I think, that again, the point is some of us do that, but just be conscious of those. Right? Okay. This is just, you know, again, my learning that I've said. So I'm going to share with you, and I urge all of you to think about doing this, do it now. Right? My one patient. It's very simple, right? So every day, you know, I'm, this is again very personal, so I. But I'm, I'm telling this because I think of you guys as our close family to me, right? Here's how I've defined myself. To me, there are three things that are important. One minute before I die, right? If I have these, I'm, I'm golden. Right? You have brought up three children who are respectful, who are confident, and are set up to do amazing things on their own. I think there's a purpose for why I was born in another country but being born in this country. So absolutely helping Sri Lanka see its full potential. And hopefully as you read this you see as to why I'm so passionate and why I'm doing what I'm doing here right now. Right? And I'll put a number again because if you don't have a measurable number it's very hard to be able to walk it. Under high potential leaders. And I'm hoping that, you know, I've covered 40 of the 100 here. So those are the three things that I define my life. Then you know who knows? This might change, and I evaluate this every day. But as I stand today, this is what's important. Right? Now I need a bit of a filter, and then you know, call it values, beliefs, principles. This is just what's worked for me. You are what you believe you are. Very simple, guys. Who you think of yourself is what manifests itself. So very important to have that, and that's why talking to yourself, looking in the mirror, really kind of acting the role. Be the script writer. Write the script the way you want it. A lot of people, it's very interesting another view, right? <clears throat> General norm is what you have, your money, your family background, your education, the people you're with, what you have defines what you do, and what you do defines what, who you are. Right? That's typically the general norm. 98%, 99% of the population does this. The one person or the two person, what they do different, they flip it on its head. They flip it completely on its head. It says, screw what I have right now. It doesn't matter. Who do I want to be? Who do I want to be? Define that. When you define who do you want to be, all of a sudden, extreme clarity comes about what you should do. That's your code now. Right? And guess what? Focus times measurable improvements times time. You become that. And you get. So, Will it be traveling by 40 wherever you want? Will it be about comfort and having the security of family? Name over all those things, right? The big car, the whatever, the <clears throat> all those happen as a happy consequence. Right? So, hey, anyway, I'm not going to go through all these. That's my story. Um, I wish you guys all the success, right? It's just the start of an amazing journey. Um, I have no doubt that you guys, as individuals, will be extremely successful, right? 
as long as you define what that success is for you to start with, right? This is a great opportunity for all of us to come here. I'm learning every day that I'm with you. Um, hopefully, we'll have more of these. I would love for you guys to come and share also when we have some sessions where right? you're going to learn from each other. As you go through the next few months on this journey of doing startups, right, I invite all of you to kind of really hold true to this. Hold each other accountable, right? And why, what does it have all to do with leadership and, you know, you run your company? Because, as I said, you cannot afford to provide leadership for your team members or to take a leadership role as a company if you can't lead yourself. So these are base expectations, right? If you guys say you're going to do something, stick to that company. If you say you're going to come on time, hello, I want to come on time. If not, let people know. Basic stuff, right? Those are all important. Lead yourself before you can expect others to follow you. And that includes me. I will follow you guys to whatever it is. I will support you. And I say support it, follow it, even about support. How much am I willing to go out of my way to follow you or to support you? It all depends on how much you lead yourself. So be aware. Right? Great. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for tolerating my whole spiel. Um, and hopefully, we'll kick ass.